Hi, and welcome back. In order to connect to our two clusters of Stokes and Newton, you're gonna need a couple of things. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be connecting via Windows using an application called MOBA Xterm. So if you don't have MOBA Xterm, I suggest you Google MOBA Xterm and download it. There are two versions, one's paid and one's free. You only need the free one. And then once you see the free one, um, just go ahead and either extract the portable EXE or install it. But you will need to ex extract it from the zip. Once you have MOBA Xterm installed and running, as you see here, you're going to have to be connected to the UCF network, either be on campus with the Wi-Fi or Ethernet or connect via the UCF VPN. So once you have your account um, created, you're connected to the VPN, you're going to want to connect to the SSH in order to interact with our cluster, hence why we're using MOBA Xterm. So if you have your key pair, if you have your passphrase, your account set up, and you're on a network, let's go ahead and create a session. So in MOBA Xterm, on the top left, you're going to click Session. And it's going to have a little dialog here. We're going to click SSH that you see over here. And we're going to enter in the remote host. We're going to first connect to Stokes. So we're going to type in stokes.ist.ucf.edu. Don't forget that IST. You're going to click the check to the left of specify username, go ahead and check that and enter in your username. And then under advanced settings, you're gonna click the check where it says use private key. We need to specify the private key file that we'll be using. So go ahead and check this. And then look for that file icon there. And we're gonna navigate on your computer to where you saved your PPK, your private key file. Click that, select it. And then just to verify, I'm going to scroll over here to make sure that it ends in .ppk. So this is where you would enter in your username. Um, I'm going to enter in um, mine, and then I'm going to press OK to log in. Make sure that your username is your username. Press OK. It's then going to ask you for your passphrase that's associated with your key, and then it's going to allow you to log in, and then you should see your username. Here's my username, and then at e user some number. You can also see that it will say up here that you, um, your username at the cluster. So in this case, we're connected to Stokes. The other thing is on the left, you'll see some files. And this is my home directory. So these are files in my home directory. And in the SSH shell, you can also interact just with regular Linux commands. So I'm going to type in ls-l, and then I can see my files and folders that's in my home directory. Let's go ahead and create a session for Newton. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back up here to where it says session. I'm gonna click this. The dialog will pop up. I'm gonna click SSH. And instead of Stokes, I'm gonna type in newton.ist.ucf.edu. I'm gonna click to specify my username. I'm gonna type in my username. And then advanced setting, uh, settings, it's the same thing. We're gonna check this to use your private key. You're gonna look for your private key and then you're gonna press okay. So now I'm connected to Stokes, uh, it's the Newton. It asked me for my passcode that's associated with my, uh, my passphrase that's associated with my keys. And then the same thing, I can type in ls-l, and then once I press enter, it will show me the files. If you notice Stokes and Newton both share the same files because it's the same, it's the same user, your same home. So you should see the same folders and files in both accounts. It's the same account. If you want to upload files, so I've uploaded all of these files and data sets and things like that, that later on I'll be working on. But if you want to upload your files, you have a couple of options. I suggest you go up here, you'll see a little up button. This will allow you to upload files. So maybe I have some code and I wanna upload a Python file. I can select this or maybe multiple files or folder. I press okay and then it will upload that file there. I can also find in Windows Explorer, I can find the file that I want and then just drag it in. Drag and drop also works. So you can upload files, folders, anything that you like. And once the file is there, we just verify ls-la and there's the file. There's the test.py that I just added. Need to zoom in a little bit closer in case you want to see it. There's the file. So that's how you want to connect. It's very simple. You just follow, um, make sure that you have your key pair, you have your passphrase for it, and you're connected to the UCF network. Either that's Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or um, the 
UCF VPN as long as you're connected to the VPN network. Next, we're going to show how to navigate through our clustered environment.